the ocean is fucking scary. this. Oh, sorry, you called me a bit off guard there. Now, we all know that people are afraid of the ocean. I know I sure as hell am. And for one reason or another, most people are. Game developers are aware of this fact, and like to make games that exploit this fear. Video games are the medium through which many people experience these deep waters, maybe even for the first time. The obvious games that come to mind are those in the Subnautica series, where, to make any progress, you are forced to descend deeper into the blue abyss. Everyone talks about how scary Subnautica is, and they're right, you know, it probably traumatized an entire generation that grew up watching Let's Players. But in Subnautica, it's logical to be afraid. You constantly hear roars off in the distance, you know there are monsters in these waters with you, maybe even just beyond your vision. But there's another game that, to me, has an ocean that is far more mortifying. That game being Sea of Thieves. If you're unaware, Sea of Thieves is an online multiplayer swashbuckling pirate adventure. You traverse the seven seas collecting treasure and fighting skeletons along the way. It's super fun, and nothing about the game is actually that scary. Sure, you're aware that the Kraken and Megalodon can appear, but when they do, you're more afraid of losing your loot than genuinely fearful. And the water is super duper good looking. So good looking that you almost forget what's below it until you slip up. The floor is gone, panic, panic. I mean, one minute it's a seafaring pirate adventure and the next is, well, it's nothing, it's the abyss. It's just so empty. And for whatever reason, my heart beats faster, my stomach tightens, I need to get the hell out of here. But why? What am I afraid of? Logically, I know there's nothing beyond the cloudy water, but my little monkey brain yells at me to get out! Get out! And I think it's because, as humans, we are evolutionarily afraid of darkness. This is because in the past, the funny monkeys that weren't afraid of the darkness got eaten. Now, I can't even begin to imagine what this experience of being in such deep water would be like in real life. If seeing it in a video game can instill such a real fear in me, then being there would shake me to my core. And the thing is, I don't even know if this horror is intentional. I've seen footage of the Pacific, and this is just how deep water looks. But I feel like having some schools of fish swimming around, or even seeing a big monster would quell my fears, because the monster you can see is a lot less scary than the monster you can't. Just something, anything, to fill the void. Subnautica Below Zero does exactly that. Hell, I would argue it does a hell of a lot to make you feel safe from this experience of being in the void. Plenty of friendly creatures swimming around, distracting you from the darkness just behind them. But when there's just nothing, it's akin to the idea that when a forest goes silent, you know something's wrong. A lot of the Subnautica series doesn't really instill this real, primal fear in me. Sure, when I run into a Reaper Leviathan, or whatever the hell this thing's called, I get pretty freaked out that I could lose all my progress. But that's about it. It's not as real as my fear of the void. But this fear of the void isn't completely absent from the Subnautica series. You can easily catch glimpses of it on the horizon, and if you go out far enough, it's nothing but the void. The map ends, and you're left in the darkness. It's certainly a bit eerie falling into the darkness in nothing but your prawn suit. I'll compare the experience to exploring an empty Gmod map. You know there's nothing here, and yet you still feel the need to check over your shoulder. But why is the abyss so terrifying? Well, I think I have a pretty solid reason. It's because we fear the unknown, even in small doses, because at any moment something could swim at Mach 10 towards you, and there's nothing you can do in response because you're totally nullified by the water surrounding you. But again, this is carrying over into a video game, when none of this is real. It seems so silly to be afraid of what is essentially a vast and empty pit. But what can we do about it? How do we begin to diminish this fear? Well, I don't know. 
but I figure exposure therapy is good enough for me. So I went ahead and explored an ocean. In a video game, of course. I'm not quite ready to take that fear head on. But, in some small sense, I answered the call of the void. Part 2. The Call of the Void. Grand Theft Auto 5. Not really the first game to come to mind when thinking of the ocean. Nonetheless, I was playing with some friends and I told them about this video, and they suggested we go check out the ocean in GTA. Now, this sounded all fine and dandy in theory, but uh, the setup for actually going scuba diving took a bit longer than it should have. Good if you I just like sit on the front. Some mines. Accidentally, yeah, sure. Hey, what's this? Oh, yeah, Mendo, watch out! <laughs> Whoa, oh, wait. Oh, Tyler! <laughs> Clean your back no. out. I'm <laughs> Use the up and up and out of my zone, Tyler. I hit. I thought. No! You reckon that? No! That's no one. Oh. Anyway, the basic timeline of events was, we got the submarine, only to realize it doesn't give you free scuba suits, so we bought some suits for a reasonable price. Had a small kerfuffle with the police, and then we went scuba diving. Alright guys, oh everybody, everybody, everybody gather around, gather around in a circle. We're in the water, bro. Tyler, right. please put me in the, in the video. Dive, 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 dive. The second we dove under, it was just nothing. There it was, the void. But I wasn't afraid. As we swam down, I felt more curious than unnerved because I was in a Discord call. I wasn't fully immersed in the experience. And holy hell, is that a UFO? I was just so friggin' intrigued by this underwater environment that my fear fell to the wayside. So, is that it? Was I cured? Um, after I got off the call, I continued to swim around, only for my fear to creep up on me. Suddenly, I was checking around to make sure that the silhouette of some unseen beast wasn't off in the distance. So, I logged off and began to really think about my fear of the ocean. And as I was thinking, I wondered what the basis of my own fear was. I mean, I did grow up around the beach, but I never went much deeper than I could stand. So, there's no scarring childhood event that took place far at sea. That's when I remembered. My initiation to the horror of the sea. And surprisingly, it fit the theme of this video to a T. Because it was a video game. Part 3, The Ocean Hunter. The Ocean Hunter is a 1998 shooter arcade game where you fight sharks and eels and descend into the dark abyss. At least, that's what I remember. I used to go to this sort of food venue with my family as a kid, and it had a dedicated kids section called the Cosmic Cave. I was even able to dig up my old Cosmic Cave membership cards. Wow, look at that hair, that is long. Within the Cosmic Cave lied an old arcade cabinet called the Ocean Hunter. Now, if I had to pin down the origin of my fear of the ocean, it would be to this game. It's pretty freaky. So I figured I would play it. I decided to download an arcade emulator and I played it on stream. Okay, so today I'm going to be streaming the Ocean Hunter. My plan is to hunt the ocean and overcome my personal fear of the ocean. Do you like the, the background? A couple of goths and a snow golem. Now, I initially had a rule set for myself where I could die three times before I'd have to restart. But that quickly became impractical. I think the entire game's only about half an hour. So I just need to go half an hour without dying, which isn't the biggest ask. It, uh, it, it was a big ask. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, maybe not. Excuse you? That's bullshit. Oh. See, now I'm, I'm feeling a bit more confident, knowing that I can just single shot them. <laughs> okay. Oh, I died. Let's stay hydrated, chat. Get, get some water. Immerse yourself in the, the ocean. Drown. So, after dying and restarting about five times, I thought up a new plan. I don't want to deal with this shit, man. Okay, you know what I'll do? My new rule, if I die in a boss fight, then it's valid. Anywhere else. That's stupid, and I don't want to deal with it. But I did just die in a boss fight, which means I have to go back to the- God fucking darn it. So please, go ahead and enjoy my heavily cut down highlights from my playthrough of the Ocean Hunter. Yeah, I kill for sport now. It's- is it Among Us? I- well, I need to see the eye to actually know. Oh my god, it is Among- God damn it! Could I again- 
do Leviathan, like, like Subnautica? When your teeth go horizontal, that's when you know you need to go to the fucking dentist. And he's dead. He's dead. Now this is the scary level. I'm in some sort of scaffolding area. Yeah, this is the furthest I've, I've gone. Where's that? Oh, I'm gonna fight the angle of fish, dude. Oh. Hey. It's fine, though, because I still have one life left, technically. Technically. Please, please, for the love of God. Please, oh, it did it. It doesn't even count. Chat. Chat. Do you really want to sit through all that again? Because I don't. Again. Now, this is interesting. We've gone out of the depths, and we're in, like, shallow water now. What's in this big room? That's a dinosaur, dude. What? <gasps> what? I'm on land? We killed it. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Oh my god. Ice? I've been playing Subnautica Below Zero, so this is very reminiscent of that. Oh my god, jellyfish? Oh, okay. Maybe they do want to hurt me. Big crap. Oh, it's so large and it pinched me. Back off. Can you imagine they just put this in, in GTA? Uh, we did it! We did it, chat! Let's go! I didn't really process what's on my screen. That's a big fish. That's a... I'm inside the fish? Am I gonna go to its heart and stab it? Just blow up its heart? In the fish. Sorry, was that a guy? I'm sorry. It's a guy? Yeah, I'm tiny. Oh my god. It's a werewolf. It, it howls. There's a frog. Sonic the Werefrog. Yeah, you wish, you wish. You're dead. You're dead, bro. Okay, well, he's not... He's not dead. I had to shoot his elbow? Oh, his face changes. Holy shit! What the fuck is that? Grahub is dead. Or not. I have to just hit it perfectly every time. Yeah, maybe the strat is to not spam. There, there's so many levels for this guy. But I got him. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, Rahab's dead! Killed that fucker! Oh my god, he's massive. I can add to my name, dude! Uh, it's gotta be Yam. And... That's me! That's... I'm the ocean hunter. That's me. I did that. Ranking is expert? You fucking know it, dude. Yeah, that's that's the Ocean Hunter. I conquered the sea. I guess I conquered my fear. I, I feel good after beating uh, Rahab. Uh, that's gonna be all from the stream today. Thank you and goodbye. And here I am today. I basically play Sea of Thieves every other day without giving much thought to what's below my ship. Though maybe I'm distracted from the ocean by how much I'm absolutely demolishing these kids at this game. I mean, come I am a god. Though my professional swashbuckling can't stop me from dying every now and then. Maybe it's a bit more often than every now and then. Maybe I'm I'm dying pretty consistently. Maybe I'm not the best at this game. It's fine, it's fine, who cares? Now, is the ocean any less terrifying? No, but to me, at least in video games, the ocean is a little less f***ing scary. Now, uh, if you'd excuse me, I'd like to get back to playing my accordion. Stick around a while, why don't you listen to some tunes, eh? Uh... Oh, you, you, you're gonna go? I guess you're, you're just busy or something. I, I'm sure you have your reasons, all right. Um... It's not like, like I, I wanted, wanted you to stay, to stay or anything, anything, you know? It's, it's not like you're hurting my feelings, right? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha